Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is punctuation. So let's get started. Marks of punctuation lend clarity to our writing. Without them, we might even misunderstand the meaning of the writer. So the very first type is a full stop. We use full stop to close a statement or a command. For example, we give our camera for repairs. Second one is the mark of interrogation. So the mark of interrogation is placed at the end of a question. For example, who is there? So the third one is the mark of exclamation. So, the mark of exclamation is placed at the end of an exclamatory sentence. This is a sentence which expresses some sudden or strong emotion. Example, how kind of you? So, the fourth one is comma. So, the comma is the short pause. It should be used wherever we think we need a pause. Example, all the rooms in this house are small, dark, and dingy. The fifth one is semicolon. The semicolon is used between independent clauses not connected by a conjunction. Example, the machine made a strange noise, then it is just stopped. Sixth one is colon. The colon is used to introduce a list. Example, the leader said that we should have three qualities, courage, strength and sincerity. And the next one is apostrophe. We add an apostrophe and s to form the possessive of any singular noun. Example, Mona's frock, Anushuman's book. And the girl's dress. Next is dash. A dash is used to introduce an explanation in the middle of a sentence. Example, everybody, the spectators, the players, the journalist praised her performance. Next is hyphen. A hyphen is used with compound numbers from 21 to 91. Example, 37, 57. Inverted commas. So, inverted commas are used to set off the actual words used by a speaker. Example, Mr. Khanna said, I am looking for a fully furnished four-room flat. Comment down the topics you want in the comment section. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching and keep smiling.